To the latest on the Trump presidency, a vote to repeal and replace Obamacare has hit a snag as the White House continues to grapple with questions about its alleged ties to Russia. CBS News correspondent Brooke Silva Braga has the story. President Trump returned to his golf club in New Jersey today to watch the final round of the U.S. Women's Open. The low key setting in stark contrast to the evolving controversy over Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer who promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. We may find out there may have been other meetings as well. We don't know that yet, uh, but what we've seen is a constant effort to hide contacts with Russians. This morning, the president once again defended his eldest son, tweeting, my son Don is being scorned by the fake news media. One of Mr. Trump's lawyers later said there was nothing illegal about the meeting, and the president only recently learned about it. I need to be clear on this. The president's engagement on this was that he was not aware and did not participate in any of this. But it, so I want to be really clear on that. The president's legislative agenda also hit a snag Sunday. Republicans postponed action on the health care bill as they Wait for Senator John McCain to return to Washington. He's recovering from surgery to remove a blood clot above his eye, and Republicans need his vote. There are many of us who have concerns about the bill. It could lead to insurance plans that really are barely insurance at all. A new Washington Post ABC News poll puts the president's approval rating at just 36 percent. That's the lowest six month mark for a president since 1975. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News. Mr. Trump dismissed the results of that new poll, saying the same poll also predicted Hillary Clinton would win last year's election.